Text to Robert Hamilton, let's meet outside Terminal 5 in 10 minutes. So this is going to process uh, on the cloud for a couple of seconds, uh, and then it's going to come back. Uh, so let's see, perfect recognition. Just nailed it. And by the way, you, you know, the important thing is the, com the, the computer was in the back room somewhere, right? The computer was in the back room somewhere. The computer, the computer no, was in somewhere, not this back room. The computer there was in the data centers. You sent it all the way somewhere, it did all that work, all the thousands of computers, and it came back in, boom. That's exactly right. So all I have to do here, of course, is just press send, and I'm done. Uh, what you saw is called a voice action, and there's a bunch of them in the new Android voice search application. Let me show you another one. Call Grand Hyatt Hotel in Berlin. Oh, let's try that again, actually, it's right there. And of course, I don't have a SIM card here, so we didn't place the call. But it's incredibly fast. And this was a real live local search. The number is not stored in my address book or anything. It literally took half a second to find it and call it. Let me show you another one. So a friend of mine told me about his museum here in Berlin. He said there's all this cool Egyptian art there. So I want to drive there. But the name is very long, it's complicated. I forgot it. I can't remember what the name of the museum was. Well, maybe I could do something like this. Navigate to the museum with Egyptian stuff. <laughs> and let's see what I get back here. So I uh, recognize what I said. So this is going to launch Google Navigation, which will figure out where I want to go. And in fact, it's right there. It's the Pergamon Museum. Okay. So I can just click on it to get the rest of Let's think about what happened here. So first of all, my phone is with me and it knows that I'm in Berlin, so it knows to search here. Secondly, there are thousands of pages on the web about the Pergamon Museum, which obviously talk about the Egyptian art that's in this museum. So all that Google has to do here is relate and connect all these pieces of information together and come up with a magical answer like what we just saw. This 